Okay, so for this one, we have to find, uh, so when the switch opens at t equals zero, we have to find the, we have to find vt for when t is greater than or equal to zero. Okay, and then we have to find the uh, energy stored in the capacitor at zero. So when t is equal to zero, this thing is open. So for, so for now, let's see how the circuit looked like when t was less than zero, so when this thing was closed. So when this thing, when, when this circuit was closed, it looks like this. And that means, and so the, to find the current passing through this capacitor is equal to the capacitor times dv over dt. And we're going to make the assumption that it's been closed for a very long time, okay? If, so that means that the current, so that means t will be infinite. So the i value will be zero here. Okay? So we're going to, let me redraw the circuit here. Okay, so the circuit looks like this, and I, so you may be asking, like, why are we doing this? Well, we have to find the formula v, Vt, and the formula to find Vt will be equal to V at 0 times e to the power of t over the time constant. So we're doing this to find V0, okay? So V plus minus. Uh, so even though it's an open wire here, it doesn't mean that the voltage is 0 at that region. There's still a voltage here. Okay, so that means we the, we have to find the voltage at this point. Okay, so let's see what we can do. We can first try and combine these two. So 1 over 4 plus 1 over 12, the power of minus 1, that's 3. So this is 3 uh, ohms. The Now, finding the current passing through here, it'll be 24 all over 6 plus 3, which is uh, i equals 2.6667. Now, to find uh, the voltage at this point, it will be 24 volts minus 6 times 2.6667, okay, because uh, the current is passing through here, so the, the voltage pretty much drops because of the resistor. So it's 24 minus 16. So it's 8 volts at this region. So when V is, uh, so when time is less than 0 for V, it's going to be 8 volts. Now, when time is equal to 0, that's when we open the switch, right? So what, is, so what does this mean for V? Well, when V is equal to 0, time is, uh, sorry, when time is equal to 0, V is still equal to 8 volts because uh, the voltage can't change uh, instantaneously across the capacitor. So when V is zero, it's equal to eight volts. So that's this part done. So it's gonna be eight E T over the time constant. Now the time constant is the next part we have to solve for. So let me get rid of all of this. So to find the time constant, let's look back into our circuit. So when T is equal to zero, it's uh, open. Okay, so that means we can ignore this portion of the circuit and just focus on this portion. So it'll be like this. Oops. So this is 12 ohms. This is 4 ohms. Then V plus minus, then 1 over 6 farads. Now, to find the time constant, it's equal to the resistance equivalent times the capac capacitance value. So the resistance equivalent between the, the capacitor terminals, it'll be one over four plus one over 12 to the power of minus one. So it'll be three times the capacitor, so one over six. And that gives me one over two. That's my time constant. So Vt is equal to eight, e to the power of t over 1 over 2, which is just 2t uh, volts. And now we can we can solve for the next part, which is asking us to find 
the energy stored at t equals zero. So to find energy, uh, sorry, not yeah, so energy stored at t equals zero. So the energy for the capacitor is equal to one over two times the capa capaci capacitance value times v squared. And since it's at t equals zero, it will be one over six. And so when t when, so when t equals zero, voltage was eight volts. So it will be 5.333 joules, and that's your final answer.